Hey everybody, Joey with Tactical Response here. Thanks for watching. So today, the vi this video is brought to you in part by Casey Loftus. So we just had the alumni bug out weekend, uh, just a chance for us to hang out on the range, shoot some guns, test out any equipment you might have. Anyway, uh, he was asking about Lewis's Donut of Death. And so in part to Casey asking about that, I let him shoot my, I have my red dot set up that way. Thanks to Lewis, he has converted me. But the other part of this is when I taught the first pistol class this year, this previous weekend, I could feel the rust. I did some live demos and, and stuff like that. And I could definitely tell that I needed to get back out here and put some more rounds down range. And I wanted to test a theory. So the donut of death, right? Just the circle on the red dot instead of the dot. When I took Tom Givens' Range Master course, uh, the instructor course, I shot that with this, the, the 17 that I'm using right now with the red dot, but it had the circle with the dot in the middle. And I am going to test if I can shoot as accurate with his Donut of Death um, at 25 yards. So I'm not gonna shoot the full course of fire. What I'm going to do is the 25 yard portion in that instructor course, you have to shoot the FBI instructor qualifica qualification and the range master instructor qualification. They're very similar, but there's a, a small difference between each of them. So first I'll shoot the FBI one. We'll see how my, <laughs> see if I am warmed up enough or if, uh, if I'm as rusty as I think I am. And then uh, we'll talk about it and then I'll do the range master one as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So here we are. 25 yards the fbi qual instructor qualification is up first the course of fire for this portion of it is four rounds so draw four rounds from standing kneel four more sorry let me <laughs> let me double check yes four standing from the draw four kneeling all within 20 seconds Let's see how it goes make sure i press the right button this time All right, not too bad. Had a couple of sloppy, sloppy trigger presses. I could, uh, I could definitely tell that, but we'll walk up there and make sure that uh, everything's okay. Yes, so absolutely, I could, I could feel it. I, my draw was a little slow, so I was trying to compensate by shooting faster to make the time. So uh, the goal is, we don't have the range master target here, but they have a vaguely humanoid shape with a eight inch circle in the center of it. And so the goal is to keep everything within the eight inch circle. I'm not too, too worried about this. This is, uh, this is acceptable, but, uh, but yeah, these over here, I can definitely, those are the ones I felt them as I was, I was trying to hurry up. So I'm gonna mark these, we will, go back to the shop and actually bust out the ruler and all that stuff to make sure that this is an eight inch within the eight inch circle. I'm going to center it on the A. But next up is the Range Master version of it. A little bit more difficult. The Range Master instructor qualification at the 25 yard line, what they expect from you is from the draw, three rounds from standing, go to kneeling, two more rounds from kneeling, all within 15 seconds. So if that last course, that last string that I did is in, the ind in any indicator, I'm gonna have to work on the draw, try to make sure I smooth that out and I should have plenty of time. Here we go. Well, shot a little too fast that time. The, the secret to this stuff is when you're on a time, when they give you 15 seconds or 20 or 100, 
use the 15, 20, or 100. So I was a little fast. That first trigger press, I felt it break a little bit before I was ready. So I'll probably have one, if, if I'm remembering right, I'll probably have one that's a little high. Let's go see. I marked the, the other uh, string I did before. So let's just make sure I got all my hits. I've got one, two, three, four and five actually i guess i warmed up a little bit this is a better a better group than i did last time i'm assuming that this one is the one that broke early i could just feel it like i said as as soon as i was this i could see the so, the dot or circle i should say the circle was drifting down and then it, the shot broke so um that's where that one is so let me make a little note there Excellent guys, we're gonna head to the range and I'm gonna bust out the ruler, see how my, my group looks overall. All right guys, here we are back in the shop. So again, I did not have a range master target to use, so we may do with what we had. But as you can see, if, you, if I can get this close enough, if you can see that, that marker line that I have made, I centered it on the A and it is a eight inch circle. So uh, all in all, pretty good shooting, I would say, if I say so myself. But Shelton, uh, go ahead, if you can, put up that Range Master target right here. Good job, Shelton. <laughs> so uh, as you guys saw, the Range Master target has a big circle and then a smaller inner circle to shoot a perfect score you have to keep through the whole course of fire we only did one bit of it through the whole course of fire you have to keep uh, everything within the smaller circle and i believe i could be wrong but i believe the inner circle is six inches and the outer circle is eight inches so if if i were shooting the qual again today i would not have made a perfect score i've got one right here on the line of this eight inch circle um so Needless to say, I would settle for that. You have to shoot a 90% or higher. And again, I like doing this stuff, it's fun. I haven't done a whole lot of, outside of those classes I've taken and practicing for them, I haven't done a whole lot of um, this type of shooting. You know you know who we are, right? Uh, very gun, <laughs> you know, no bullshit, gun fighting school. That's, that's how I like to describe like-minded uh, training companies such as ours but anyway so <clears throat> that's that's what we're dealing with the circle of death did its job and if you were someone at the start of this video who said when I was like can it do it and in your head or to your buddy you're watching the video with you said well yeah if you follow the fundamentals then it's going to do it right well congratulations <laughs> you win because I have tricked you guys into watching this video at the end of the day, uh, the circle of death, the, uh, sorry, donut of death, I should say, to be technical, uh, but the donut of death versus the dot, I agree with Lewis that there are pros to using the circle. You know, I do find that it helps me acquire the, the site better, and I do like the process of just smacking that circle over the target. You know, when I was at 25 yards, that circle was pretty much just hovered around the A zone there. And I definitely found that I wasn't chasing a dot, you know? When you're trying to be precise in that dot, it looks like it's moving everywhere. So it can be a little, you can get in your head a little bit whenever it comes to this stuff. So uh, all in all, thanks for thanks for watching guys. But actually there's something on the back of this. It, oh, if you're interested in, learning or doing some drills similar to what I shot today. You know, we do have some classes that are <laughs> a little bit more uh, high speed marksmanship based. We have fast and accurate pistol on August 19th and 20th of this year. If you're interested in getting some of that style of shooting in, absolutely come on down, hang out with us. <laughs> so once again, guys, thanks for watching. And remember your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.